Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we're here with episode number 53, I believe. You know what? I keep saying I believe. I should really check these beforehand. Anyway, I believe we're here with episode 53 of our Pokemon White version playthrough here on the channel. We're here in Opelousid City to take on the Dragon-type gym, and I guess learn... Well, actually, no, I think we tried to learn about the whole history of Zekrom, Reshiram, how to resurrect Zekrom from the Darkstone, the Dragon Masters of the region, Drayden and Iris, ain't got no clue. So, kind of in a, uh, a dark spot, if you will. But, we do need to get our 8th Pokemon League badge here in the Unova region to make our way to the Elite Four, where N and Reshiram are going to be waiting for us. That's what we're going to do today. We started going in there yesterday, in the last episode. Things didn't go so well. But, things might go better this time, because as you just saw, we had a little bit of grinding. Today's goal is to get into that gym once again, the Opelousid City Gym, and get ourselves that last badge. So we did some training to get up to level 44, based off the wild Pokemon in the Dark Grass. I didn't think we are going to be able to get up that high, but then we did find a wild level 39. So, I like to go five levels above the wild Pokemon, and here we are. So first off, we have Witwicky at level 44, holding the spell tag. He is our Lampent, with an impish nature. The ability is Flash Fire, and we've got Shadow Ball, Flame Burst, Nightshade, and Will-O-Wisp for the moves. Next is our Levani Grub at level 44, a serious natured Pokemon with the ability of Chlorophyll. We've got Bug Bite, Leaf Blade, Helping Hand, and Protect for the moves. Next is Seaward, our Duat, level 44, holding the Mystic Water. He is, of course, our starting Pokemon. He is Rash Natured, the ability is Torrent, and we've got Water Pulse, X Scissor, Grass Knot, and Aqua Jet. Next up is our Sinonian Onyx Medusa at level 44, holding the Eviolite, boosting those defenses nicely. She is a hardy natured Pokemon with Rock Head for the ability, and the moves are Earthquake, Smackdown, Sandstorm, and Rock Polish. And last but not least is Marowak from Kanto at level 44, obviously. Marowak with a serious nature. He is, sorry, he has Lightning Rod, which draws in all electric moves. Of course, he's immune to them, which is nice. We've got Bone Meringue, Thunder Punch, Rock Tomb, and False Swipe. All right, so to be honest, I don't know how things are going to go. We did battle a trainer in there. Wait, you know what? How many potions do we have? Let me make sure we are stocked up. But the first trainer in the gym, if you missed it, did take a Pokemon away from us, which I'm not too happy about. We're going to grab some of these Hyper Potions. But it was my own fault for going in unprepared. Or sorry, underprepared. Because, you know, much as it's unfortunate to lose a Pokemon, it happens to the best of us. But... Seeing what his level was, he was a level 43, where's the gym over here, level 43 Fracture, but he was the only Pokemon of that gym trainer. So, generally, when you see trainers in the gyms, they have multiple, if they have multiple Pokemon, their levels are not as high as this guy's would be. So, I'm hoping that they set a level 43 as your first opponent to really, you know, scare you, shake things up a little bit. So, I think maybe we'll be okay, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. All right, this takes us to... can't go up that way. This is a kind of interesting looking gym. Like, what I don't like about it, not that it's really a complaint, it's just there's really only a linear path to go. I will tell a trainer who beats me how to move forward in this gym. I already know, I've done this before. But it looks cool, it seems like a creative idea, but I'm pretty sure every trainer in this gym... Oh, she's going to have a level 34. Level 41. What did I say 34? What was I thinking? 43! I went all dyslexified on that. Yeah, f uh, 43 Fracture, I believe it was. We're gonna go to Grub, who can easily bug bite this thing. I should consider equipping some of the gems we picked up along the way, to be honest. I'll check those out before the gym battle, or before the uh, leader battle. What are you gonna do with that crunch, huh? Yeah, not much. We're gonna bug bite. We're gonna eat whatever bear you're holding on to. But yeah, it's like, it's a cool idea. You're gonna see that we're gonna manipulate wasn't a leaf blade, we got a critical. We're gonna move the arms of the dragon statues that we have to walk on, and it looks cool, but there's really only one linear path, and I'm pretty sure it takes you through all of the trainers. Jump from a triangle mark. When you land on a switch on an arm, the dragon's head will move, and you can move ahead. Well, I mean, obviously. Now, this is nothing. Interesting! I think that's the way out, actually. Alright, so let's go ahead and Super Potion first, keep our team nice and healthy-ish. 
so we can get some level ups along the way. I wonder if Wit Wiki is the best one to lead with, because if we see any more of those Dark Dragon type Dano, that's a bit of a problem. Ghost type not doing much to them. So, Dragon now moves off to the left, which means we can't go anywhere but that way. So see what I mean when I say it's going to be linear? I guess, yeah, you got to jump down onto it. You need pressure to switch things up. Now, I could go back. That doesn't help us, I don't think. You know what? I'm going to try it. I want to see what happens. I'm going to try jumping on this button again. This could be just wasting time. But this will move the head straight forward, I believe. Even higher up. Oh, back down? What? I guess, okay, I get it. i got to move both arms... To the up, if that makes any sense. I have to elevate both arms. That's a better way of uh, Englishing that. So, I guess each button is only going to move the dragon head one time, depending on what other button is pushed. I guess. I, I don't even know how to explain it, really. But you can see it happen. Now, see, there's a guy right here. How do you avoid them? You can't. It's just... Just give me a straight path and fight all the trainers. Come on. Do you understand how the dragon's heads move? I do now. I do now. All right. What do you got? Don't have anything too crazy, please. You got two Pokemon that should be level 40s. Uh, level 40 Fracture, is it? Hmm. I was right about that level. Just something told me that was going to be it. Well, let's go Shadow Ball. If, if these things can Dragon Dance, we know they can, I would rather try to take them down as fast as possible. That ain't bad. That ain't good. So, we're not making the same mistake again. We're going to our most defensive Pokemon on our team. Medusa, come on in, girl. Let this thing try and Dragon Claw you till the cows come home. You've got the Eviolite. You've got the defense. I think you're at 210 defense, technically, with the Eviolite. Oh, you're going to taunt again. You love taunting my Medusa, don't you? Well, let's see if the taunt is going to work out for you. Dragon Claw, bring it. What can you do? Hardly a thing. I should have done that last time and saved poor Chuck from going back to Dreamsville. Another fracture. Would you look at that? All right. A couple of earthquakes, I think, does the trick. Do we see a dragon dance? I mean, even if we do, it's not a big problem. We know we can handle that. Really? Not down below half. Hmm. There's the taunt gone, so I could rock polish if I want, huh? Oh, two dragon dances. Do you think the game's now going to hand itself a critical hit? What do you think? For a critical hit, does kick, uh, take into account the attack bonuses. It also uh, ignores any attack drops, I believe. But it does also take into account defense drops on the target, ignoring defense boosts on the target, which is... I don't want to say broken, but it's powerful, let's just say that. Anyway, what's not powerful is this guy's fractures. Took care of them nicely. The dragon's arms go up and down, and depending on the arms, the dragon's heads turn right and left and move up and down too. Listen, here's a hint. Ooh. If both arms point down, the dragon's head sinks down too. Gee, what does that mean if both arms are up? Do we need to super potion anybody? We're actually good for now, okay. I'm being very, very cautious with the healings. They're going to come in handy, I am sure. So this brings the dragon head up all the way, and that takes us to, I believe, this is where Iris is at. Not this particular section, because there is a whole other dragon statue in this gym. But we got plenty more trainers to gain experience off of, I am sure. Hey, speaking of which, here's one right here. Are you happy just hanging out with Pokemon, or do they have to be strong? We'll see which type you are. I like all Pokemon. Like I've said before... Like, for example, with Pokemon Go, Stardust can be a very, uh, what do you call it, very sought-after commodity, let's say. Sometimes hard to come by. I'm the kind of person, I didn't want to click run, I want to burn this thing, actually, Will-O-Wisp. I'm the kind of person who likes all Pokemon equally. So, if... A Pokemon is like, you know, let's say Pichu, for example. I have powered up a Pichu that's on my Pokemon Go team. So, I mean, I guess in a sense that's, you know, talking about strong. But Pichu's not known as the strongest Pokemon ever. That was a lot of damage. I think the Shadow Ball and two burns should do the trick, though. Or just the one burn. I'll take that. 
But yeah, I don't. You know, they don't need to be strong to be Pokemon on my side. Yeah, Pokemon seem to be happy hanging with me. That's what it's all about. Every person loves Pokemon in a different way. Getting strong with my Pokemon. That's the way I chose. Well, I mean, it's the way you try to choose. I don't want to act all high and mighty, though, because that's going to come back to kick us in the old buttski. Alright, now, off to the next dragon statue, I think. Yep, right over here. So the arms are up, which means the head... No, wait! One arm was down. So the head's going downward. Look, I see Iris right up there just waiting. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do good against her, but we're going to have to find out. Oh, what? All right, going to go back this way. So I... Do I have to turn the head up for this one? Thanks for coming. I happily welcome you. But I may be a little rough on you. So what are you doing here? You're not like a dragon trainer, are you? You're not no dragon master, no dragon tamer. You are a veteran. Hugo has a drud dragon. Hmm. Now, I'm just going to say it right now. First of all... Apologies in advance if Drudagon happens to be your favorite Pokemon. When I look at this design, I am not a fan. I mean, let's look at the colors, first of all. Nothing about that really flows together. You got the standard colors of Pokemon games, red, blue, and yellow. Okay, but the head does not look like it's connected to the body in any way. Anyway, hang on, let's switch into... Uh, with it being burned, I can probably go to anybody. But I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna go to Marowak. These things, I believe, have rough skin for the ability. I don't want to take too much damage, so... Throwing a projectile bone meringue could be the way to go. But, it's like, I look at this design, and I... I this is, to me, a good example of why some of the Gen, uh, Gen 5 Pokémon are over-designed. Like, it doesn't need those spikes off of its arms, you know, they don't need to be there. I guess to make sense of the rough skin, that makes sense. But, look at those wings. Now, I know it's not a flying-type Pokémon, so it doesn't really need wings, but like... Those don't look like wings. It's just... A lot of that design, not a fan of. At least it's off my screen now. That may not be the last time we see it in this gym, however. Your heart aches, I know. Same with me. It, it aches for the simple designs of Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 3, you're starting to get a little busy. Gen 4, okay, kind of pushing it. And then we get Gen 5. Advancing or retreating is up to you, but if you proceed, prepare yourself. Moving forward, half-heartedly is disrespectful to your Pokemon. That is right. Good point. Let's make sure we are healed up. I can go a little further before healing up, I believe. Don't want to waste the potions. Alright, this leads us... Where does this take us? Nowhere. Okay. This takes us back onto the arm. This should bring the head to the right, I believe. Where is that going to connect us to? Oh, now we can get to the stairs and fight that guy. See what I was saying, though? It's like, there's no real different way through this place. It's all... It's basically a linear path, just with... It's overlapping is what it is, because... Still got to fight every trainer along the way. Let's go. I will test you to see how well you really know Pokemon. Well, that's kind of what we're doing here in the gym, is it not? So, quick little update as far as my Pokemon Go activities are concerned. I know you're all excited to hear that. I have caught, as of today, well, as of yesterday, I caught my fourth Shanks from a raid battle. Hang on, we're going to be switching. Again, I think Grub can handle this with a bug bite. So I caught my fourth Shinx from a raid battle. One more, and I'll get to choose the best one to add to the team. The last one that I did get, though, had... Oh, this thing have Hustle? I think they can get Hustle, and they missed. Hustle would actually hurt. It adds more power to physical attacks. But does lower the accuracy, which kind of helped us out there. But the last Shinx that I picked up, it's top tier. It has... Uh, what is it? Max attack, max HP, I believe. So, I don't know, percentage-wise, what it would be, because I don't have any of the apps that, you know, checks that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure that would put it at about 90, like maybe low to mid-90 percent, which is good. So, it's probably going to be the one that I go with, but we will see as time goes on. We've got one more Shinx to pick up to see which one I'm going to go for. Do I want a Sandstorm? I'm just going to go for the Earthquakes. Oh, good thing I went for the Earthquake Taunt. I forgot you can get that. It's been taunting us non-stop, yet I forgot. Don't the, uh, 
What will those be? Horns, I think, coming off the side of the mouth. Don't they remind you of Yanma's wings? They do to me. I'll tell you that much. But, uh, yeah, so as of today in Pokemon Go, I have captured my second wild uh, weasel. Couldn't think of the name. There's too many Pokemon with the name starting with B. I keep mixing up Bidoof, Weasel, and uh, Badu. And even Burmy is going to be in this gen, too, eventually. But anyway, so I caught my, my second wild. Uh, again, forgot the name, Weasel. It was actually pouring rain really bad today, but I did brave the weather to go out there and catch it. I was actually waiting, I was waiting for my bus, and a couple blocks away there was a, a Weasel on the nearby, so I thought, yeah, I'll go get it. All right, so I'm actually going to keep Medusa in. We're going to heal. Let's get a super a potion. I fired off. And there we go. So what can you do to me? Do you get Dragon Dance? You get Dragon Claw. Well, I think now's a good time to fire up the Sandstorm. Look how fast we are. Look how fast our Medusa is. How awesome. That's kind of what I like about Onyx, too. Back in Gen 1... Rock types and ground types were not known. Well, I shouldn't say ground types. Rock types were not known for their speed. On the other hand, we had uh, Doug Trio, a very fast ground type. But yeah, rock types didn't have a lot going on speed wise. So it's kind of cool that Onyx somewhat represented that. You lose quite a bit maybe in HP and uh, attack stat, sadly. But the defense is pretty nice as long as you don't go anything or go against anything with a special attack. Because special defense is not too much on this Pokemon, which is really too bad. If they had better defenses all around, that would be pretty sweet. So question is, once we get up to Iris, do we go back and heal? Because we got to do this whole dragon trek again. That's special, or super effective, isn't it? It's not stab, though. Still dangerous. Alright, well, I believe Revenge does the extra damage if they are slower, or if I've hit them this turn. So let's not hit them this turn for a Hyper Potion, get all healed back to full. I think the Sandstorm ends after this turn, so we can't count on that for the KL. Going for the normal type chip away. And a critical. Sandstorm does subside, but let's throw a rock at this thing and smack it down. I think we're going to level up off of this one. But yeah, I'm liking the levels here. Like I said, the first trainer we fought had a level 43, if I recall correctly. And that was concerning, but I'm thinking we're going to see comparative to level 43 from Iris. I'm, I'm guessing maybe 46, 47 for her ace. I am a trainer. I don't have to get strong myself. All I have to do is support Pokemon so that they can fight at their best. Unless you're playing Pokemon Go, in which case you got to level yourself up so that you can level up Pokemon. Are there three dragons in here? Ah, oh, we're not going to get to Iris in time. I guess it's going to be a bit of a cliffhangery type thing, because we're there's no way we're getting through all these trainers. I mean, we are, but in addition to the gym leader, probably not so much. Alright, so we just fought you. Yeah, we got one more trainer to go, I think. So what I'll probably do is, once we take care of this trainer, I will end the episode right there. Actually, I'm going to wait and make sure I get to Iris. Assuming we do get up to her, I'm going to end the episode there. We'll heal off screen. I'll come back right at Iris for the next episode for the big showdown for our final badge in the Nova League. I'm not even going to walk in front of you. I'm talking to you from the side. I wonder what you'll do as a trainer. I'm going to train. It's a crazy thought process, but it's what's going to happen. All right, Dara or Dara, the Ray, Dano. Okay. Again, we know that our bug type can handle this, although I haven't healed him in a little bit. In fact, do I need to heal the team? I have healed you, did I? When? Anyway, whatever. Grub, come on in. Bug bite this thing, if you please. Can we get another critical bug bite since we can't get any critical leaf blades? I'll take them. Crunch does concern me, because a critical crunch, well, at this range, is going to hurt... Or, if they got the defense drop on that crunch, that would have been bad as well, because another crunch would probably drop us. Well, I'd say definitely drop us at that point. Okay, okay, what else you got? You got another Drud Dragon. I know it's pronounced Drudagon, but if they're going to make it look so strange, I'm going to pronounce it so strange. Yeah, we're definitely going to heal, because we're going to use up all of our Earthquakes sitting through this place. 
And how do you exactly you use an earthquake when you're on a suspended platform above the uh, ground? Isn't that strange? That's strange. Alright, let's fire off another sandstorm for some residual damages every turn. Also boosting our special offense, not that that really matters. Now, how does it work again? Rock types gain... Is it double the defense or 50% more defense in a sandstorm? I don't recall. Now, I'm gonna heal in case they attempt a critical revenge. A regular revenge would weaken us pretty badly, but a critical at that range would probably drop us. And you know the game loves to hand itself of those critical hits. For example... Never mind, okay. Night Slash usually has a pretty high chance to a critical hit. Let's go for a smackdown, weaken it up a little bit, we'll see what we can do. And yeah. I'm going Earthquakes. So I think this is the last turn we're going to worry about anyways. So a nice, quick, and speedy knockout is the way to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess I can talk a little bit about the course that I'm taking, the 3D modeling course and animation. Well, we haven't got to the animation really just yet, but we are currently doing a project to model a building in our town. So we had to go and take some reference photos, and I've actually chosen the building that is... I want, it's going to sound weird. I'm going to choose the building that's adjacent to the Fiddlehead statue, which is one of our gyms in Pokemon Go here in the city. What I should say is I'm going to use the St. John Art Center, where the Fiddlehead happens to be outside. Kind of makes more sense. But, yeah, you've seen the building before, you've seen the Fiddlehead statue. I'm going to try to model that, and I want to try to make that nice, curving Fiddlehead sculpture in front, too. That'd be pretty sweet to see. Oh, you fight very well. You are great. Thank you. Can I have the badge, actually, if you say I'm great? Because Iris does not need to get involved, does she? I love Pokemon battles. I never know what my opponent will do. It gives me chills. Win or lose, it's the excitement of the fight that counts. So, as I've been doing, if you are interested to see what my progress is like in the 3D modeling and such, you can check out my Instagram or my Twitter. I've got those linked in the description, as always. And just see what I've cooked up. We finished a project recently. It was to model a 3D garden type thing. And that is all complete, all said and done. And I think it came out pretty good. What? Okay, we already went this way, obviously. How do I... These dragon snakies, man. I guess we... Current skill, whatever. Just... Again. There's no point to having this twisty path. I'm just going to throw every trainer in my path anyways. Alright. But Wiki comes in, but Wiki comes out. We're going to send in... Oh, we're going to level up off this, which is good. I know I'm overusing her, but we're going Medusa. I do think that I'm going to jinx it by saying this, but I do think that she is going to be a major player in this gym. I mean, she already has been, but I'm talking the actual gym leader. Something tells me we're going to have to rely on that Eviolite massive defense that she has there. I guess what Wiki could also be good for the, uh, the Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to try to focus on those two. All right, let's go ahead and heal, first of all. Let's grab a super potion. They did get that dragon dance up, which I am not a fan of. I mean, when I use it, I love it. When I see the opponent use it... No, thank you. All right, Eevee Light's still helping us out. Let us hope that you don't land a critical... Oh, taunt, that's fine. I'm glad I got the sandstorm up when I did. Again, I forgot these things have taunt. You don't expect something as threateningly offensive as a Fracture to use something like Taunt, do you? I don't. I not, like, obviously, I never think of it. Dragon Claw, do not critical hit. Thank you. I thought that was actually going a little bit further than it should have, and I was like, don't even say so. Alright, the Fracture is down. What else you got? W Wiki does level up. Alright. I want to learn Curse. I'm going to keep the old moves. That could have come in handy, but I really cannot risk going for Curse and then losing our Pokemon on that next turn. Another Fracture. Let's go with a Hyper Potion. We're burning through the potions, but I mean, with the defense we have, I guess it's okay. Is a Sandstorm still standing? I don't think it is. I think I'm still taunted anyway, though. Well... It was going, and I was still taunted. <sighs> Knowing that they have uh, 
taunt. I'm gonna actually try rock polish. I'd say if they taunt, we're not wasting a turn. Well, we are losing a turn basically, but we're not taking any extra damage. So we're back to square one. We're out of earthquakes. I'm gonna start the smackdowns. Smarter move would be probably to use an ether and get our PP back. I'm gonna have to. Now that did 33 damage. A critical will drop us. Let's go for broke and see what happens. They could also taunt another thing, you know. See what they do. Actually, they've already taunted. What am I thinking? Okay, that is fine. I'm very, very nervous at this point. I don't want to lose. You know what? I've been using the wrong items. I should be using lemonades. That'll fill, uh, fill uh, that'll fuel us back to hull. That'll heal us back to full. There we go. Just don't get criticals and we're fine. I did even more damage this time. I will take that taunt. Thank you. Two earthquakes does the trick. Come on. We don't even want to ask for a critical. We just want to get two earthquakes off. Let's see what happens. Thank you. Thank you for showing some restraint. Whew, okay, that one could have gone very badly. I'll take that next level up. We're gonna need that level. Four extra defense. Technically six with the Eviolite. <laughs> We're cursed with curse. What is this? Drop speed, up attack and defense. I'm wondering if that's gonna help us. Huh. I'm trying to think. Sandstorm might be expendable right now. Uh, I'm gonna keep what we have. Just watch. It's gonna be it's gonna come down to the thing where I would have needed a little bit of extra defense to survive a hit or something. But just we'll see what happens. Alright, I think that's the last trainer. We're over time for the episode because you got in my way. Getting stronger is like walking down a road that never ends, no matter how much you fight. It's what this Dragon Gym is about. It's the secret of the dragon's backs. It's also Goku's mentality in Dragon Ball. I was going to say Super, but basically just Dragon Ball in general. Alright, let's see. Does this connect us up to Iris? I believe it do. So, as I said, we're going to end things off at the top of this dragon. Because we gotta go heal, and we're also out of time for the episode. So, folks, thank you for watching today's Pokemon White version episode number 30, 30, number 53. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to leave me a like down below. And leave any comments you want to leave down below in the comment section. Comments including encouragement for the gym battle, because it could be scary, could be rough. But come on back tomorrow to see what happens. And if you want to see some more episodes of Pokemon White leading up to the point, we've got the link in the description for the uh, or to the entire playlist for you to check out, as always. Also, as I mentioned, social media, we got links in the description for those as well. If you want some more regular content from Professor Chaz as far as Pokemon's concerned, you can subscribe to the channel, or you can now join as a member as well and start earning some member-specific perks, including when I finally get some time to do more live streaming, some cool things like badges and emojis and such like that. Alright, but that is a wrap for today's video. Folks, thank you once again for watching. Professor Chaz is now signing off, and I will catch you next time.